In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference and the relationship between V dash model and V dash bind. For many beginners, at least for me when I first learned Vue.js, I always confuse V dash model with V dash bind. So, what is the relationship between V dash model and V dash bind? Let me show you the answer first. V dash model is equivalent to V dash bind plus at input. Recall that at input is the shorthand for v on colon input, meaning listening to the input event and running some JavaScript code when it is triggered. In other words, v model is just a syntactic sugar for v bind and at input. Let's look at an example in VS Code. Please note that we're on a new branch, v model versus v bind. Look at line 6 to line 10. And also line 21. VBind binds the message variable from the script to template. It is a one-way data binding. Recall that v-bind only works for HTML attributes. So in this case, the value attribute of this input box. How do we achieve the other data flow that is from the template to the script? Look at line 9 at input. When someone is typing something in this input box, for example, one, two, three. The code we wrote on line nine will update this message with the value in dollar sign event dot target dot value. Recall that this expression returns the current value in the input box, which is hello exclamation mark one two three. It gets assigned to message, so message has the latest value. It is no longer hello exclamation mark. However, it can be cumbersome to manually wire up value bindings, and change event listeners like this. As you can see, you have to add line 8 and line 9. The view-model directive down here helps us simplify the above, line 6 to line 10, to just one line. v-model equals to message. That's it. I hope now you have a better understanding of the difference and relationship between v-model and with a spine. See you in the next video.